Hey, 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 it's W5HRO. Well, I have an update. I'll be, this thing will be down for another week. Uh, the Keep Alive supply in here went uh, belly up on me. And uh, I tell you what happened um, for the negative, you know, for the negative peak limiter. What happened is see it's transmitting fine now. And if I turn the audio gain up, Well, see, I've got the mic way across the room here. That's why it's doing that. But see, I don't want to use it without that keep alive supply because my negative peak's going to hit the baseline. So let me uh, just want to show you that it still works fine. Uh, what happened is I figured I loaded up on 40 meters yesterday morning after I left 75, and it was loading up, and I took a break. I came back a little later in the morning, and I transmitted and all of a sudden the current meter on the screen went way up high again i'm like what's going on so i started playing with the load and it kept bouncing around like crazy and uh, i went i still got a loading issue and and i know what and i and, and something dawned on me is that i don't know if you remember that pal uh, 351 amplifier video i did a while back where that that 2.5 millihenry high current RF choke I put in there melted on me. And I went, wait a minute, do you know what? When I built the uh, remote tuner box out there on the vertical, the 80 meter ground mounted quarterway vertical, I, uh, I put one of those chokes across the, you know, across the element to ground for just for, you know, coronal discharge, right? And I went, let me go out there and look. And I pulled that box off and uh, the, with the cover on it. And look what I found. That stupid choke, it kept melting and it kept melting. And when I got on 40 meters yesterday, it just went kerput. That was why I fried those old, those old loading caps in this deck. They were old anyway, and they were probably gonna eventually leak and crap out anyway, but this, this thing right here made it happen right away. So I just took a pair of dikes and I cut this thing out of there and now it's fine, but I, uh, <laughs> I figured out why I've been having all that trouble. It was this was inside that remote tuner box, and I was having an antenna loading problem because of this stupid choke. So now I solved the problem. That was the source of my whole trouble. But I had to pull out this uh, keep alive supply. It melted this transformer. I don't know if it was just a coincidence that it just both things happened at the same time, or there was enough RF on the ground system. Because what was happening was. My loading circuit in here was becoming the load completely the, for the whole antenna, for the whole, I mean, the whole output of the transmitter. That's why those other caps had burned up on me. That when I had those two in series, that's why they gave out. Make, it all makes perfect sense now. So, uh, anyway, I had to, I took this thing out of there, and what had happened is I, I analyzed it. But what happened is this transformer's toast. It was, the outer case was so freaking hot, and I don't know why it didn't blow the fuses. You would think it would have blown the fuses, but it didn't. I've got fuses down here that it should have been on the main AC line. It should have, maybe they're just too large, but what I'm going to do is, I'm building another one of these, and I'm going to do it completely different, and I'm not going to regulate, because what happened is, the reason it melted is because... This transformer really was enough current for the keep alive supply, so that's why I I used this uh, you know these uh, two uh, uh, regulator transistors like this connected to, they were connected together with the zener here to to regulate them and uh, it was the, it was to amplify the current just to make up for this supply this transformer being too small but one of the past transistors shorted and the zener shorted that's what happened i analyzed both these transistors one of them's good the other one's a complete short and it, when it shorted it killed the zener so uh i decided i'm going to do something completely different i ordered one of those big hammond 710 uh plate uh, plate uh, transformers with the center with the center tap ground that'll do about 375 more like 400 volts and I ordered a big, really hefty uh, choke instead of this smaller one and two big caps. And I'm going to just build a new supply. I'm, I'm going to forego the regulation. And I'm just going to mount the transformer directly on the side of the cabinet. And where that regulator was, I'm going to put a piece of perf board with the new caps and everything and the diodes and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do. It's working right now, but I don't want to use it. I don't want to put it back on the air because my negative peak hits the baseline. You can see that I have the output of that relay 
where it goes to the limiter short of the ground right now, just so it stops it right there. It'll, it'll go down the limiter, it'll go down through the resistors, it'll still load it down a little bit, but it needs to have the positive supply to push that artificial, you know, create that artificial baseline and push it up above the DC supplies baseline, the plate supplies baseline. So I'm, I'm not gonna use, it, use the rig on the air until I get that new supply built. So I should have it by the end of the next week and I should get it all built up, ready to go by next weekend, hopefully, then I'll have it ready but when I, when I go back to work and everything. I can always work on it on the weekends too, you know, but I'm gonna try to get it done by next weekend. So I should have all the parts in sometime in the middle of this next week. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have it all and I can come in here and I can build that new uh, supply, that keep alive supply for the three diode negative limiter. But that's what happened, that stupid choke. This stupid choke. This was a, this was a 2.5 millihenry. I was thinking it was 250, but no, it's a 2.5 millihenry RF choke, but it's got the ferrite core. And apparently you cannot use these kind for the, what I was trying to use it for. That's why it fried in that amplifier and it fried in my antenna, my antenna box. So uh, look at that thing. It just melted to smithereens. But that's what happened. That's why the, that's why every so often this cr the screen current meter would just bounce around all over the place and I kept having to adjust the load because my antenna loading was screwed up because this stupid choke was going bad. It kept melting the coils, you know, the windings kept moving around and that's what was happening. That's why it kept changing on me. So I figured out what it was. So I just want to give everybody kind of an update that I'll be off the air in, at least until next weekend. And I'm just, I'm tuned up on 20 meters. I've listened, there was some prejudice guy on here. Oh my God. He was calling people Polacks and all kinds of stuff. He was insulting the people overseas. I don't know what people are thinking. He was here in the US. Somebody ought to run him out of there, run him off the air, take away his license. So that's all for now. This is W5HRNO.